Welcome to another episode of the Retro Gaming Rewind, where we push the rewind button until we're back in the golden age of gaming. In this series, we'll play games from the past on real soft and hardware, covering mostly the Commodore Amiga systems, the PlayStation 1 and 2, and NSDAS or Windows games from the late 80s to the early 2000s. Expect a new episode every week where we play something different every time. I'm your host, Dan, and today we'll be playing Another World on the Amiga 1200. Another World, also known as Out of This World in North America, is a cinematic platform action-adventure game that thrusts us into a perilous alien world. Designed by the visionary Eric Chahi and published by Delphine Software in 1991, this game immerses us in a cinematic struggle to get back to our world. The protagonist, Lester, is a young scientist whose life takes a dramatic turn due to a botched experiment. Suddenly he finds himself stranded on an alien planet, teeming with danger. The alien landscape forces us to fight for survival, navigating treacherous terrain and battling menacing creatures. Chahi, working tirelessly over two years, crafted another world almost single-handedly. His ingenuity extended to creating a custom game engine, optimizing memory usage by rendering all art and animations in vector form. Some rotoscoping techniques helped plan character movements, resulting in fluid animations that captivated gamers. Narratively, Chahi chose minimalism. We experienced the game with little to no language or user interface elements. This deliberate choice enhances immersion, allowing us to interpret the story through actions and emotions, rather than words. The game's cinematic effects, both in real-time gameplay and cutscenes, set it apart. Critics lauded this innovation and commercial success followed. Another World left its mark on gaming, inspiring future titles like Metal Gear Solid or Silent Hill. Since its original release on the Amiga and Atari ST, Another World has journeyed across platforms from home consoles to mobile devices, which culminated in a 20th anniversary edition released in 2013. I managed to get a sealed copy of this edition, but we will have to admire it from afar, otherwise it will lose its value. Just kidding, I don't collect games to put them in a shelf and admire them from far away, I collect them to play them, or at least hold the manuals in my hands. I hope there is a manual. What I know is that this edition features versions for PC, Mac and the Amiga, so let's open up this box and see what's inside. So this is the highest rated game ever, just in case you didn't know. It is uh, also, it is the German version, which, uh, you know, I didn't realize when I bought it, but it's good enough for me. I do speak German, probably better than English. So let's open this one up. Let's make sure we don't damage the precious content. And let's, uh, let's rip this plastic off of the game like a baboon in a frenzy. So we got... Okay. I got the little little cardboard thingy. I think I like it more like this. 20th anniversary edition. We got the signature from the original creator of the game. This was one of his projects. By the way, it's not just a, a remaster by somebody that has nothing to do with it. And we are not... Oh, we are getting manuals. Oh, thank the Lord. I was ready to get disappointed. Here we got the PC and Mac version on it. And I think for the Amiga, there should be a description in the back which says, Amiga version requires the Amiga emulator and kickstart ROM. Now this, you can, I'm pretty sure you can play this on the Amiga because everything you can play on the Amiga emulator comes in a file version that you can play on the Amiga. So we don't have to worry about the, the Amiga version. We got it already installed on my Amiga 1200. I tested it, it's running. So there should be no issues in playing this game. This game, by the way, uh, can be played with the mouse, which uh, I got over here. Can be played with a controller or with the keyboard. This is a, a game that can be, where you can basically choose your input. We're gonna be playing this on my, on my hyper pad that I've just, I managed to get this one. I think on uh, on the Swiss eBay version, which is called uh, Ricardo, 
and I've never seen any of these again. It works perfectly, by the way, and I think there's a couple of people that are quite jealous that they don't have one. Let's have a look at the manual. So let's see what's in here. Oh, we got... Okay, we got basically some explanations. The history of the game. Unfortunately, this is all in German, so I'm not going to have to read it to you and thank the Lord for that. This is going to help us with uh, the first steps in this in this game. I do know it already, though, so I mean, I've never I think I never finished the game, but who knows? I might finish it. I definitely won't get stuck in the beginning, right? We're getting a poster here as well. Let's make sure I destroy it the first time I unwrap it. Which is pretty cool. What I what I think would have been very cool if this ran on the Amiga CD32, but I think it might not. Otherwise, there, there would have been any... There would have been... Oh no, I need the manual out. Maybe. Yeah, otherwise there wouldn't have, would have been some hints that it would run on the CD32, but it's it wasn't a very popular console and now even less people got it, so... <laughs> it still would have been a nice feature if it's already an anniversary edition, right? Anyhow, it is now finally time to play another world, and for that purpose, we do have to uh, jump right in. Here we go. Uh, I wrote the code down already. E uh, E D J I. Oh, that was close. Did you see the tentacles were coming for us? 
Okay, I remember this part very well. Watch the guy in the background. We're gonna meet him later. <laughs> uh oh, the tentacle is coming here too. Let's see, we got... We can only kick. And I think we can do a kick like this. And we need to get rid of those... Um, those little snails are what they are. Alright. Can you see the beast in the back? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be good times when it catches up to us. It's I can't think of the word. These black things there, they're, they're those little little worms that suck your blood. Can't think of the word in English. I think in German it's it's a blutegel, it's eel, blood eel, but I think it's different in We got two more dropping down. Yeah. No! Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is not the good ending for those that were thinking it's the good ending. It's uh no, it's not the good ending. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember it's uh, their leeches. We're here again. Go, go, go. His desk is sinking to the floor. <laughs> he got blasted. Got teleported away with his desk. And then we can, I think, run. Uh oh, there's one ahead on, the, on top of us. Be careful. I think the the low kick doesn't do any Oh it never mind. You can kill them with both kicks. I guess. I guess if the foot if the foot touches them, you're good. Why is he sliding backwards when kicking? Look at this. We got one more. I think we're good. Go 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 go. There's obviously better looking versions of this game. Uh oh. Run. Ooh. We're good. Give me a we run in the other direction and then I don't know what to do anymore. Oh, we're back in control. I remember this part. This is the part where we swing both sides. <laughs> until, uh, until somebody dies. <laughs> My Tallulah. My Tallulah. I'm his Tallulah. <laughs> okay, I remember this part. Now I gotta focus a little bit. Gotta kill this guy, otherwise he kills our friends if you don't kill him fast enough. And then there's gonna be Oh No, he killed him! Yeah, and we're back here. So remember if you're playing this uh, on an emulator. You can use the save state. You can reload any time you want. You can save any second you want. You don't, you're not. Uh, you don't have to rely to. Uh, I mean, you don't have to rely on those uh, quick. On these save uh, save points. On these checkpoints. There we go. 
But I have to. But we want to play the original experience. We're not cheating. We're not uh, using safe states. We're playing the game the way they were back then. Maybe with the exception that... You killed my friend again! And me too! <laughs> oh man... Yeah, this is a checkpoint game. You're gonna have to succeed... Uh, at least a little bit. Before you can save the game. More than just one thing. At least we're still his Tallulah. Tallulah, 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 bing, bang, bong. His Tallulah should be bing, bang, bong. Okay, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Protecting our asses. Nothing else, just our asses. Oh! Got him! Is there gonna be another one? Please, no other one. Got him. Why does it sound like they're eating an apple when the. Oh no! no! <laughs> Where the hell did this guy come from? That's cheating! It was already waiting here? Wow, I don't remember that part. That's super unfair. I was already proud of myself for being the usual oh, genius in, this, in these situations. My No! no. <laughs> Did he kill our friend? Somebody killed him and I didn't see that guy. Oh well, we might as well... Uh, <laughs> no? Oh, we might, we might not even... Jump down. I don't think you can proceed at this point. If you don't have your friend. He has to use this here. I don't know how to use this. Oh, it opens these bars in the back. Okay, we might as well just say goodbye. Goodbye, cruel world. You are cruel indeed. Won't stop, can't stop. <laughs> My All right, this time we gotta make it. Let's make sure he doesn't kill our friend. <laughs> God damn it. Why? It's so random. I think it's super random. I could have, I guess I should have made it. I mean, first we're fine without making a shield. And now I'm gonna, I'm, I tell you from now on, he's going to kill our friend, friend every single time, unless we make a shield. From now on, we need to make a shield. That's how it usually goes for me. Now I can't do it anymore, the, the, how I did it the first time. Yeah, now it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot to pick up the gun. Oh, we still got it. Run! I'm making a laser uh, shield for us. Made another one. Oh, 
I can't shoot anymore. Oh, this is cheating. He made another shield and I can't shoot anymore. <laughs> Maybe we're not supposed to fight the second one. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I learned something today, by the way. And that's nothing. <laughs> no, I learned that we can... Uh, in the previous... Um, in the previous Retro Gaming Rewinds, when playing Amiga games, specifically on the Amiga 1200, the color was a little bit off, a little bit washed out. Maybe you won't even notice in some of those games. Probably not. Come on, come on. And I realized how we could set it to limited RGB. Which now is a little bit less washed out. Probably still looks washed out for today's standard. I'm just gonna put a couple of shields up. I'm not gonna fight this guy. And go! Go, 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 go! Come on! Hurry! There we go. <laughs> um... City of the future. Or I guess it's an it's an alien city. It's not really a city of the future. We're not on our world, remember? We're on another world. So uh, I can show this to you actually quickly. The difference. It's small, but it exists. If I switch to this here. There's uh, we're using the HDMI mod that I put in the Amiga 1200. So I think here we can switch. We got limited RGB. This is how the previous games that we played in the series were. From now on, they're going to be like this. So it's definitely it's, it's a lot better actually. <laughs> but it's only for the Amiga 1200. The Amiga 500, I don't have an HDMI mod on it. Oh, this is the bottom floor? Okay. But there's energy coming up from here. Wait, this looks like one of the switches from above. Maybe he can use it, the one that removed the, the barrier. Can you click it? Oh, it stopped. Oh, wait, was it me shooting the thing in the wall? I can't tell. I hope that was a good thing. I think you have to shoot these. And then I'm not sure what to do. Oh, he's coming. My gun doesn't work anymore. Help me up, buddy. Oh. Oh. Okay. What am I doing? <laughs> I remember this part. Yeah, you can see where you're going. And if you go the wrong way, you just instantly die. I just hope the game saved. I think it's left. I mean, who moves like this? In if, if you got like a, a shaft and you just crawl forward, you don't roll on your back and on your knees. Oh, I made it. Nice. Please not back to the cage. Now we got a new code. The FILD. Okay. 
I hope it starts with the barrels. Yes. Uh, let's go left. I don't know if these damage me, actually. Doesn't look like it. So we go left, and then we fall down, and then we have to go right. If we go left, we die. Left, right, left. I'm just gonna write this down. Left, right, left. I don't know how many times I'm gonna be back here. Uh, no, let's go right. Oh. Left, right, left, right. Left, 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 right, left, left. That's what we have to do. Oh. What happened? Did it recharge the laser? Oh, yeah, because our laser was out. I couldn't shoot anymore. Interesting. And now we have to blast these walls away, huh? I think I killed somebody. Did you hear the the apple noise? <laughs> oh, I'm dead too. Libk. We got the new code. Yay! We don't have to roll again. Libk. We have to do this again, because this is so much fun, right? This is the actual challenge. Can you blast these three blocks away? Nope, I can't blast the blocks. It's too hard. Go, 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 go. We're going to shoot first. Ask questions. Never. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. got this far as a kid i didn't have any patience and i didn't have any smarts i still don't have the smarts <laughs> wait what oh he dodged he dodged he went down so okay that is an advanced enemy Okay, this time we're going down too. Yeah, he goes down when I shoot. That's our buddy that's fleeing in the foreground, which is pretty cool. Can I, uh... I'm afraid. Okay, maybe we just have to jump blindly. I tested the jumping out here, and it doesn't seem to go far enough to reach the other ledge, but maybe we can land on the lower ledge. So why don't we? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 I swear I went uh, on my... I, I, I ducked down to shoot him. I just didn't do anything to him. Oh well. Can't get enough of blasting these three walls out and then recharging myself. There we go. Quick and the dead. Oh! I made it! Uh, now I really don't know where to go. Can I climb this, maybe? Don't tell me I have to jump in the other direction. It looks like there's spikes below um, here as well, right? Let's try. Ah, oh, I made it onto the same spike again. 
<laughs> yep. Kind of like that one spike. Yeah, that one spike, I really like it. I just can't stop tossing myself onto it. It's just, uh, it's just good times on the spike. Yeah. I need to turn on the light. It's getting super dark outside and it's like... Is it two in the afternoon? There we go. Got a little bit of light on my beautiful face. <laughs> oh, so you don't hit him when when you go down and he stands? Maybe we need to jump in the last second. What an idiot! There's a ledge above. Then we have to go jump onto that one. I can see how to make that without the uh, without the running jump. I mean, <laughs> yo. I made it again. I think actually they're cheating. They're like putting a spike where you land. Like a black spike. No matter how where you land, they're just putting a spike there and then impaling you on it with that uh, animation. Okay. Well, if we just drop down. <laughs> Thanks, game. I love you. So, see, this is not a game that uh, that is ideal for for impatient kids or impatient adults. <laughs> yeah, it's not ideal. Here we are again. I jumped the very last second. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, man, I hate this. The thing is, the game is not holding your hands at all. You just die. You just die a lot. And then hopefully you figure it out. And if you don't figure it out, then you just die a lot without figuring it out. You stupid idiot, I pressed the up button. And every character we play is a stupid idiot. Seriously, they, they get stuck on like tiny little pebbles and then get murdered in games. Yeah, we got killed. Oh, we didn't get killed this time. There we go. Uh, Third time in a row, we didn't manage to jump here. Uh, so this is the time where my joystick would have been flying onto the monitor. And then it would have gotten stuck on the monitor with its, with its suction cups, like... And then I would have to rip it out of the... rip it off of the screen and... Uh, <laughs> maybe play something else. Let's try again. Okay, we have to press it a little bit earlier, but how the hell do we continue here? Oh, we shoot the wall out. Wow. Eric Chahi, huh? <laughs> Good old... Uh... Eric Chai and his uh, his great uh, his great trolling attempts in this game. Yeah, what a chap! Well, that's not what I wanted to do. 
Do we push these over actually or? You just shoot the wall, of course. You just shoot the randomly, you shoot the wall and it's a cave. Can't get back up here. No, and I made it again. Oh, we got a new code. C C A L. Kakal. Kakal, 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 kakal. Can't go through that door, so we gotta go here. I remember this part from playing it like one or two years ago. Oh god damn it. Oh. I'm not sure how I how I did it here. I might I might be stuck now. Oh, maybe this was right. We just can't die here. Okay. No! <laughs> God damn it. I got nervous and jumped too early. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to. Oh, okay, no, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so... Hmm. Does something happen if we shoot this from the other side? Does it go... I mean, does it drop onto the other side? Not sure. So running, uh, sprinting, and shooting is the same button, by the way. Oh, I made it. Oh, <laughs> okay, I, I don't think I got this far in, when I played it last time. Uh, oh, maybe we can shoot this. Of course. Oh, maybe this was underwater. And we cleared it. So it's the gun that sounds like an apple. It's not a. It's not enemies dying. Definitely can't make this jump. Yeah, that's not the noise of somebody dying. So what's with this rock? Can we shoot it or push it? Oh, it's our buddy. Hey, what's up, buddy? Do you need help with whatever that thing is? It's stuck. How do we help him? I can't do anything with him. We can't like it. There's no uh, use button or operate button. This is the, uh, you know, this is the, the Amiga controller. And it basically has like the directions. Wait, this thing fell out. I gotta find this rubber thing here. This is this gotta be somewhere. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to press this. But we don't need those buttons anyway. Speed one and speed two. 
So there's normally has just one button and then the directions. Some games have two buttons and that's the maximum button function you're going to get on the Amiga. Is this a joke? <laughs> Got him. Is he fleeing? I don't know. Let's go down. Maybe we can help our buddy. No. Don't go. Stop it. I can't go down the stairs. Yeah, I can kill this guy here. So maybe we have to... Oh. <laughs> you walk up the stairs and you're instantly getting a... Shit. We have to do this again? I think we need to do the water thing, maybe for our friend. There's a reason we're doing this. Wow, the game doesn't save after this. That is insane. This is very difficult. It's one of the most difficult parts of the game so far, and it doesn't save after it. That is very unfair. It is really very unfair. To do these. Stupid jumps. <laughs> okay, you need to jump as soon as you're in that screen. You need to jump. This, move this camera a little bit. Uh, wait, I need to go down first. Because otherwise we're not getting uh, the blast here. You know, the water is not going to blast back up. <clears throat> it's going to blast that... Uh, And the rock with I got that. I didn't want to. I didn't want to jump. I wanted to run first. Can't believe I'm back in this part here. Stupid game, don't even save here, huh? Why would you save here? Completely unnecessary to have a save after this. Yeah. 
No need to save here, right? When you can repeat it 10 million times and then f die due to something very unfair. <sighs> okay, can you stop prancing around the stairs like a pony and just go where I want you to? Thanks. His pants become invisible uh, in front of this wall here. Got him! I should have shot as soon as I got into the street. Can you walk? He doesn't. He stops walking down. Oh, you just go left. Please don't drop on my head. Oh, we're here now. This is where we, uh, this is the cave. How do we help our friend? The next screen, there was an enemy when we first came here. No, we're fine. Oh! <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. So can we go this way now? How do we free our buddy? Was this some kind of joke? We're back in the cave. Yeah, well, I have another safe spot, right? That would be silly. Now that would be silly if we could save. If it would if we would save the game there, now that would be just <laughs> Yeah. That would be ridiculous. Wait, this is a new area. What is this? Skeleton? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're not getting another safe code. I can't believe that. That is just inconceivable. They couldn't have conceived that people wanted another safe point. No. Maybe I need to do this later. I don't know. I <laughs> got I hate this part. <laughs> Seventy nine out of ten would drown again. Yeah. 78 out of 10. I would impale myself again, too. Gave it a little extra point for that. Drowning or impaling. Those are the two endings. And we always have to do this crap. Every single time we have to repeat this. This is why I'm not a big fan of... Uh, I almost said Game of Thrones type of games. Uh, I mean Dark Souls type of games. 
I prefer watching them. It's like every time you repeat the same thing over and over. And some people love it, but... Uh, you know, I, I can understand. It's just too much repetition for me. Yeah, there we go again. We killed again. I don't mind it if it's hard. It's the repetition that gets me. Same in this game. I'm damaged goods from my childhood with games like this. Yeah, this is a, this is a, one of the typical mechanics back then. You could be it, it, at some point, uh, you know, in this game, you could say, "Wow, it saves." <laughs> Because yeah. many of the games didn't even save. You had to just finish them in one go. Finish them or don't finish them. No! I jumped too early. And then we can get shot by the two idiots again. You just watch. We go down there and then from both, from both sides they make shields and then they just shoot us from both directions and we're dead. But we got one more place we can explore actually. And that is the top. Maybe... Could do something there. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's probably safe to say that I'm not going to finish this game. Not today or any time in the future, because I'm already frustrated now. Imagine a. Uh, and they're dead again. Imagine ded dedicating yourself to finishing this game. You're going to be frustrated forever. <sighs> we played for almost an hour, huh? Let's see if we can get any further, and otherwise we're going to call it... <gasps> A little game. A little video. I made it! I made it. There, I fixed the echo. <laughs> oh. Spring is coming. Spring is coming indeed. So here we can just go this way, right? No, I want to go up and we see our body. So the, the area that I wanted to explore is, yeah. Can you stop jumping around like a gazelle and maybe... How do we go up? Because up doesn't, doesn't let you go up. You have to somehow go up and left, and then you go left to go up the stairs. <laughs> no! this block wait it's making more blocks oh when it's gray it's destroyed okay and we're here again
No, you stupid moron. I just want to make it past, uh, past those barriers again. Maybe we get a safe point there. No, I need to go down first. I don't even know why we need to go down. We blast us back up, but uh, it removes water from this cave here. But why? Why, do, why is that a good thing? Why is that a good thing? I don't know. I mean, the game back then, it looked really great and it's, it's very unique. It was very unique. Very, uh, like almost like a cartoon or an, <clears throat> an animated movie, I guess you would call it. Yeah. Keep being an idiot. It's fine. Yeah. There we go. I can't do anything here either, right? There's like a button here on the wall, but I don't think it's going to do anything. What is that? Why is he here so early? Because I stopped in the other room? No way, we gotta go down, you know? What am I doing here? Down. What if we just shoot it from this side? Oh, you're dying all the time, so might as well. No, it flips it over like that, yeah. Okay, I guess in that case. What? Why I'm not dead? Uh. There's another part? What? I don't get it. Push! Oh, why, why aren't we dead? There's another part here. Oh, you just have to keep sprinting, maybe? <laughs> and the game kills you everywhere! Wherever you go, it kills you! <laughs> Run, keep running! No, we have to keep running. I thought we might have to stop there. Keep running, keep running. Uh, you stupid game! Uh, Maybe we need to run back. Then we don't know how many times the rocks drop. You need to memorize how many times the rock drop where. No. I need to memorize them. No. 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 Maybe we need to do everything faster because it seems like the timing in other screens counts too. What if we do full... Oh! No, you goddamn stupid game! 
And then there's another screen with dropping rocks because you can't, you, you don't want to do this not enough times, you know? You, you, you don't want to, you know, jumping down here and doing all this cave crap. You want to do this really like um, at least uh, 200 times, right? This part here? Nyo. And there, you just can't make it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Learning by dying is what I say. I call these type of games the learning by dying games. <laughs> the plant just kills you if you make it past the rocks. Uh. Now you know why I didn't get anywhere in this game as a kid. And as an adult. I mean, this can't be a very long game, right? It's... Maybe it's like an hour or something. Yeah, oh, we died off screen, hidden from a pillar or a rock, or hidden, hidden by a uh, hidden by a rock. But you know, in this game, you can just take a break and then come back later if you got the code. And just here, I would say. Yeah. Try to get past this uh, kukukal code. Because otherwise it's going to be this forever. You're going to be back here again. And then you can choose where you want to go. You want to go down. You want to go up. Down you're getting, you're getting the rocks bonanza. And up you're getting double tagged by those jerks. Why is the second rock not delayed, like... Have to sprint past it instead of trying to go up to the left. time this is like a one more time type of games then you play one more time and then you're getting the, you're getting the shaft once again for the ten hundredth time no. oh, oh nice yeah i stopped here no i shouldn't have stopped there you know <laughs> i just love getting the shaft you know yeah who doesn't I definitely remember this game being uh, more fun. No, oh, I'm too slow again. Oh, how did I survive this? Uh. I hope he dies. Guys, I hope he dies now. Because we haven't seen that before. Yeah, I haven't died before in this game. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult to die, actually. It's one of those games where you can really try hard to to play badly, but somehow you still always succeed. It's a little bit of a baby game, you know? Yeah. A little bit of a baby game. Mm-hmm. 
just too easy. Yeah. Yeah, now it's one of those, uh, you have to memorize everything and then you can beat it. Maybe like Rick Dangerous. Even though I would argue Rick Dangerous is more fun than this. This one definitely uh, has a different vibe. And graphically, I like it. Yeah, I really love it. Wait, here we go. I really love it. Uh, okay, I think I'm done. I don't want to die here again. I died for the last time. So we played another world, and boy, am I glad I bought the... Uh, I bought this edition here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I don't regret it. I bought this this here to uh, to put it in the shelf because I like the artwork. And you can't get this game. You you can't get it for for the Amiga on eBay. It's almost impossible to get it. Should I keep this wrapper here? Which is kind of. I don't know what to do with, with this this cardboard wrapper. The wrapper. I could put it in the shelf like this. Or like this. Maybe that would, this I think this is cooler huh? without it. So uh, I was going to wrap up the video here. I already put the Amiga away. Put the camera away. Put the game away. I was editing this video. And uh, I'm done editing at this point, right? And I'm thinking like, hmm. Didn't I just buy the game for the PC as well? So if there's a PC version on it, shouldn't we play it? Does it make any sense to play it in another video or should we play it? We should play it in this video, shouldn't we? We should play it here, right? Because it's evening now and I want to relax, but we're just not done now. We're, we're not done yet. We have to play this. <laughs> Again! <laughs> uh, oh well. At least we got uh, modern uh, modern aspect ratio, 16 to 9. I can uh, take my green screen. I could take my green screen out and put it up and put all the lights up here. <laughs> I love them so much. It's so relaxing to play like this. Yeah. Anniversary edition. So this is definitely a different edition. And we got the uh, Eric Chahi design program and art artwork. We got different music sound effects. Ported to PC. But it's ported to PC. What did he progr pro pro program it in originally, huh? Thanks to Jesus. Okay. Jesus be thanked. So uh, let's see how far we can get in the game. I have my mouse ready. I got my keyboard ready. Unfortunately, it's on a cable. I can't hold it up easily, but uh, I got my controller ready, too. Let's assume this is a joystick. Let's see if, it, uh, if it's as compatible as the previous games. So, with that being said, um, let us... Uh, jump. Right. <laughs> In.
were in. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately. Controller works. Okay, let's remember the game. So let's see if we can get as far as we got before. That's the kick button. Oh. And we're dead. Yeah, the good ending. Cheers, 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 cheers. So it's got, excuse you, it's got X as um as the action button. <laughs> we gotta kill all of those leeches. How do I run? Oh, it's this it's literally the same button combination. Like on the Amiga. One more leech. No, we got the bunch. We got two behind us. These are gonna kill us if we have to run back. Yeah. They they come from the other screen. So how do we jump? Sprinting. Oh, then we're just going up. Okay. We're going diagonally. Hello. I don't think he's friendly. <laughs> oh. Run. This took me forever to figure out on the Amiga. Back when I was a kid. <laughs> Are you friendly? No. So I'm not sure if they've redrawn the game. If they have completely redrawn it. Or if they... Uh If he somehow, I mean, it's, it's the developer, right? Maybe he had the game in a higher resolution and had to release it lower on the Amiga. Does he say my true love or does he say something else? I mean, it's true love. <laughs> oh! Blasty, McBlast face got us again. I forgot which screen he pops up. Oh boy, I can't wait to die in the cave again, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be tight. And there you have it, sir. Another satisfied customer. <laughs> so let's see, no one here, and he's gonna pop up here, though. This is a little bit different. Another one's gonna come. They got the shield up. No! <laughs> Good. This is different. We don't have the the annoying safe. Does it does it save on every? Oh, my gun is empty. It's blinking. Does it say... Oh, what the... Oh, but, but this... But but this happens again, right? Safe on every screen, but you go in and you're dead. You know. Oh, it's saved here too. Okay, so that's cool. I don't think we could do anything here, but we could look out and see... 
looks a little bit better, huh? I don't think there's anything here. Let's wait for for the big guy. And push. we're taking the elevator at the breakneck speeds. Oh yeah, it was me. It wasn't him. Him who activ activated the device. I shut this, and then the power stopped going up. So that's what I did, or that's uh, what did it. All right, go. Let's run. Come with me, you buffoon. Oh, my, my gun is... Uh... Oh. There we go. This time it's not completely black. Who am I kidding? It's completely black now. I went, oh, this killed us. <coughs> I thought I rolled through this. In the in the Amiga version, it didn't kill us. Oh, okay, there's just one of them. So left, right. Oh, god damn it. So left. Oh, I love it. Left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left. So that's the code. Left. Here we go, right. Your stupid game with this crap. I wasn't even completely under it. Okay, left. I think this one has more of these, uh, these, uh, whatever it is. Hot steam or gas or whatever. Right. Left. Right. Got it. Recharge our gun. So if the gun's blinking, it needs to be recharged. I didn't even realize that. You know what? Let me move myself. Why is this locked in? Let's move me here. So we're charging the gun again. No, it doesn't do anything. Got him! I was ready. <laughs> maybe you you're not maybe you don't believe it, but I was ready to jump. I didn't think it would happen this fast. Wait, how did the, 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 the graphic change now? You already saw it like this. High resolution. There we go. Look at the high resolution, guys. It's crazy. Okay, we're blasting a hole in the wall here. Here we are, my favorite part of the game. Not even 15 minutes and we're already in this crap. Let's try it the hard way first. <laughs> Gotta run. <laughs> Stupid game. Wait here. You 
this is different. How can I beat that if the, the second rock falls down? Uh, I made it again. You can hear the excitement in my voice. Okay, we have to wait until uh, the developer's mom. I almost said something nasty, but I won't. Yeah, I almost said something nasty. Yeah. I almost said, uh, you know. Until she stops slobbering up. Until she stops schlubbering up something, <laughs> which could be a body part of a man. Could be, doesn't have to, but it could be. Yeah. When she stops schlubbering that up, we can go. How dash. This looks like completely random on the second screen. It looks super random. It doesn't seem to make any sense at all. They, they, they just drop everywhere. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe I'm safe right in the beginning, I think. I don't move at all. I thought it was the first screen we were we were safe here. Now we're safe here. Oh, we're safe. Let's see if we can go right here. Ah! <laughs> okay, at least it's saved. So that, what is that, that, that red thing here? It's gonna kill us too, no? I shot the bat. The bat is flying around here now. Oh, it got sucked up by the tentacles. That means now we can maybe go back without getting killed. Wow, that's uh, that's interesting. I just keep running here. It's not stop. Why does it change to low resolution? What the crap is that? I'm trying to find the low resolution button, but there isn't. I switched it with the controller, which is weird. Wow, I made it. Are those people insane? Is this guy insane who made this game? And it switches back to low resolution. Let's see, uh, controls. Why would you put the low resolution thing on the, on the pad? T 
Did you see that? It just switches back to... <laughs> oh, we can't go through here. Is that it? Is that the secret? This is a horrible world. This is very fast. I, wanted, I just wanted to test the waters. There's no testing the waters. It's forbidden. So, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Not go that way. Let's wait until the bat gets... Oh, wait. I might accidentally be hitting these buttons here. Back at the rocks. <laughs> killing me softly with those teeth, killing me softly. With your teeth chewing my whole life. Okay, we're shooting these three idiots. I didn't hit the button, now we're back to low resolution. And then it stays here, right? Because the game wants me to play in low resolution. Because I'm such an, such an aficionado for retro games. It just won't run in high resolution, yeah. Now that would be criminal if it did. I made it. Wow, I can't believe I made it. And I'm switching back this crap here. What the hell? We got some teeth on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm back here. Thank you, game. That's very nice of you. Yeah. I didn't know how it was dying to this one. Yeah, now I know again. Thanks. For jogging my memory. Oh, so that guy kills you like this. <laughs> That's how it is, huh? Of course. Why does he keep switching to the low resolution? That's just weird. Oh, because I wasn't running. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's more fair now, yeah. You know. Yeah. They made it more fair. But just a little bit. <laughs> it's still unfair enough to... To sheesh you off. To pierce you off. To pish you off.
I think I think since since I got my uh, sound device back, my audio device back, and I recalibrated the echo, um, the echo the echo function. Oh, the echo is better than before. I like this echo. So this is an empty room, right? You would think, well. What can happen here? <laughs> well, you're playing another world. Get it? Yeah. Everything is deadly. And if nothing kills you here, then something kills you in the next room as soon as you come in. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you're wrong. Now what we're doing here. Am I opening this for later? Or maybe this is for our friend and he can escape through here. Oh man. Oh. All right, the first one, yeah. And it switches to low resolution while it's killing me. I think it has to do something with the jumping mechanic. Yeah, I'm a retro aficionado, yeah. I'm doing it myself, you know. Yeah. Games know what I the game knows what I want. Except for, you know, besides for uh, getting killed a lot. I do want that too, but I mean, this might be the original, uh... No, we have to jump over the first hole. I mean, we... <laughs> yeah. We have to run and jump over the first hole. Uh, excuse me. And a bush. Yeah. We have to jump earlier. At least I got this jump out, figured out. And look, it switched back to high resolution. Wow, this game has been out for 11 years and it still has such a bug. I think it must have performed really badly. I did it. The fuck was that? Oh, I made it. <laughs> you fucking game. Okay, okay, I'm back here. Let's switch back to the high resolution. So I think we're opening the wall for a reason. I don't know why. I, I never, uh, can't even remember this part. 99.9% .9 sure I never got this far. So how do we get onto that? <coughs> Excuse me. 
Okay, we're back getting crunched by the rock. Great. Great! Oh, this is how you go back up. For some reason, the gun doesn't run out of bullets when you need it, and you really can't continue without it. Uh, oh, we need to do the water part now. Yeah, remember when I thought this was hard? <laughs> Yeah, I remember when I thought this was hard. Oh, man. Yeah. I didn't know about the chompers back there. Yeah, didn't know about them. <laughs> yeah. And I still keep dying in the same hole here. <laughs> Cheers. <sighs> so it turns out I played this game today, this morning, the Amiga version. Jump, you uh. stupid idiot. <clears throat> but now in the evening when I should be resting, I'm <laughs> playing this again. But I got further, so that's a good thing. I met the Chompers, the Chompers family. Ba -da -da -dum. There we go, we jump later. Now we're at the water part. <laughs> oh, we're, we're here. This is definitely the better, uh, or the fairer. The fairer. The fairer versions of the two. I keep jumping too late. It's right when we enter the screen. Go on, one more jump. Crisscross make you. Crisscross make you blast. Okay. Now we can go this way, which was uh, where we go down and we meet the two idiots. Otherwise, I mean, I think this game is pretty much the same than the Amiga version. And I can't switch it back to high resolution with the whole jumping thing. It's just when you're jumping over something. These buttons here don't do anything. So it's not it's not that I'm accidentally pressing those. I could be pressing those accidentally, but So here's our buddy. I don't think we can help him here. Be faster. Nice, I won again. I need to stop winning so much. And now it switched back to... Trying to find out if it's a combination of uh, up and down and fire or something. Just switches the resolution, we're just gonna go with it. Let's see if we can free our friend here. Oh, this is the guy with the three blocks. Wow. 
What? He's, he's what? He's shooting the floor? That guy. He's doing lasers on the floor. Let's see if it goes through the laser. Did he do a big shot? No, he didn't. Oh, sh Captain Crunch got me. Oh, wow. You need to shoot him. You need to shoot this guy as soon as you get into the screen, huh? Throwing grenades, I think. So if you destroy his shield, he starts throwing grenades. It seems a little bit exaggerated. I didn't kill him again. I always forget it. Okay, next time I'm not going to forget it. <clears throat> he just killed me. Why is he sliding like this? He He's immune. Did you see that? It didn't do anything to him. Can I jump onto those pillars? Jumping around like a gazelle? No, I don't think so. And it just opened? Did they just open? And now he slides. Yeah, just push me in front of my shield. Thanks. Yeah, needed that. Yeah. Son of a cheater. You know exactly that you're a cheater. Everybody knows it. <laughs> you stupid fucking moron. Sliding in front of his shield. It's like we're on an ice skate. You're moving forward and you stop and then you just keep sliding a little bit. Just enough to kill yourself, you know? Okay, let's see. You have to wait until uh, that's not going on. No, we can't do it. Okay, so we can go down here when we want. So, did he have a shield up from the get-go? Because he put one up after we exchanged 10 million shots, he put a shield up. And then I get it that he doesn't die. Then I get it.
Got him. Here. So this goes back into the cave that's near the water cave. <laughs> I don't know what the deal with this is here. Can't do anything with it. I can just shoot the lights down and then nothing. Okay, it's this scene. Oh, he's just walking through it. Oh, yeah. oh it's saved here. Thank the Lord. How did he shoot through my shield? It did it just oh they're just timed maybe. He just kills me every single time he comes in and he's always immune immune. I'm trying to shoot and he just moves forward, goes through his own shield and dies. God damn me, I killed both and it died. This time I did everything correctly and he just puts up 10 shields. Nice. <laughs> oh, this game is making me thirsty. This game is making me thirsty. Oh, now, yeah. see, look, he got two shields. And I got both, I got one on the left, one on the side, they're both disappearing. He comes in, got two shields. I guess it depends. Sometimes you got to kill the guy on the other side first. Maybe that would have been smarter, huh? I'm just running here. What the fuck? <laughs> he just runs in and... Fists me, okay. Now we got one FPS here. Let's see what's down here. I hope unlimited oxygen. <laughs> it's very explory, I like it about this game. But it's also very unforgiving. Wait, this is the part where I, where I was in before. Oh. The second one is the air chamber. Am I getting air? Let's dive down here. See what's down yonder. Pretty sure we gotta go this way. Everything else is just like a death by spikes. <gasps> okay, we got it. Uh, I 
turned it off. I have I can leave, right? That is not an exit there. Nice teeth. Oh, we're back here. <laughs> cool. This is going to be the longest retro gaming rewind episode that I've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe there's going to be longer ones when I play games that I really hate. But I play them a lot longer. You got to cultivate the hatred, you know. Got to go back and remember how fun it is to die in this game all the time. And then when you remember, you still keep dying a lot more, just for, you know. For sheesh and the giggles, for sheesh and the chong, for biff and the baff, for glip and the glap. So basically there's no reason for it. Just want to get a little bit further and then we're calling it. We're, we're going to wrap this up. We're, 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 we're wrapping this up then. So we need this pocket of air. Probably on our way back to. Okay, turn off the power. I mean, at least I got further than on the Amiga. Still learning things by repetition. And back down. Go right, you buffoon. Minimalistic UI. <laughs> yeah. That's not true. There's no UI. You just die. Yeah. You run out of air, you're dead. You don't need to know. <laughs> yeah. Can you stop being an idiot and go straight up? I'm not trying to waste time here, okay? We're... Uh... Yes. It's already close enough as it is. He's throwing grenades. It's one of those guys. This has to be a joke, right? Do you want to tell me? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. So you want to tell me I have to awkwardly put up a shield shoot at him, uh, shoot the heavy shot to remove his shield, and then kill him, and at the same time, jump when the, when the, when his grenades come. <laughs> and we can't even jump on the spot. Really. If we're jumping, we're jumping forwards, we're in front of our shield. Maybe he can, he sh maybe he's shooting high and we can just go down. Oh yeah, that worked, yeah. Did you see how I got him? No, you didn't see him? Strange, I saw it, I swear. No, no, I saw it, yeah. I did see it. I think we might be done at this point. I really don't know what to do. The grenades always get us. And it's not like he's just throwing one. He's throwing like three of them.
<laughs> Let's try and get over the grenades. Maybe something happens. Who knows? He shot me in midair. Okay. Uh, I think we're done. This episode is like super long. So that is what it is. Um, yeah, I guess we checked out the, the new version of this game. By the way, um, I don't have a CD drive for my or in my PC. I do have one. I do have a USB CD drive where I sometimes, uh, you know, I can back up CDs and stuff. And from that CD in the drive, I could install it on my PC. So this is now installed. I don't need the CD anymore. In case you, you wanted to buy this game, so you can, you just have to install it once. Then you can just run it on your PC. Anyhow, back to past Dan. We played another world for over an hour. It's a very unfair game, but uh, it's fun to, to play it in... You know, in... in uh, Play it for a limited amount of time and then put it away and then maybe continue it later or maybe maybe not <laughs> i have I have fond memories of this even though i never got anywhere and i guess this uh, concludes another episode of our retro gaming rewind i don't know what the next game will be or on which platform i guess we're gonna have to find out it's sort of a spontaneous thing but uh, thanks for hanging out and i'll be seeing you in the next video goodbye Welcome to another episode of the Rar Rar. <laughs> I'm your host, Dan, and today we'll be playing Another World. <laughs> this game immerses us in a cinematic struggle back to our world. Struggle to back to, to fuck. How did I write this shit? Since it's originally <laughs> released 20 ever and 20 years. <laughs> fuck. <laughs>